Hey guys, it's Vimeo91, and more E3 news. Yes, I mean, it's only March, but we have some more E3 news. See, remember how, I, I made a video a while back where I think the big three were not participating in E3 anymore, or at least seemingly weren't going to participate in E3 anymore? Well, we got some more bad news there. Well, you see, Ubisoft has now dropped out of E3 as well. Like, I'm going to read not the whole statement, but basically... While they initially planned to go to E3 or at least be there, yeah, yeah. they're not doing that anymore. They're going to be holding their own Ubisoft Forward Live event on the 12th of June in Los Angeles. So this is just another blow to E3 in my opinion. Like, I don't understand. Like, maybe next year they'll come back. I don't know. But, like, the fact that Ubisoft is having their own Forward event around the time that I think E3 usually happens, like, no. I just, this is bad news for E3 in my opinion. See, sometimes when you take a break from something, it can really affect, because some people may think, okay, do I really need this? Should I just save my money and just do it in a different way? And it seems like that's what they're doing. Like, they're, they're doing it, their Ubisoft event around, I believe, the same time E3 is happening, and they're not going to E3. So, wow, that would suck, because E3, I really like E3. I mean, I know it's old school. Like, I know the companies can just have their own live events without actually going to E3, but... Yeah, this is another blow in my opinion because, like, if Xbox, Nintendo, and Sony are not a part of E3, at least not physically, like, on the floor, and now Ubisoft is gone too, there's not that much left. I guess there's probably a lot of indies and EA and, uh, I don't know, but, guys, this, to me, is bad news for E3. Who, I, like, I, I'm not one of those people that think E3 will go, but maybe E3 needs to revamp themselves like after the pandemic and everything maybe they need to figure out a way to really be appealing to the gaming companies because first like it was sony sony i think by itself was like this you know before prior to the pandemic and then it was like xbox and nintendo are now saying at least this year they're not i don't think they're planning on going to e3 or at least being there you know on the floor and now ubisoft anyway what do you guys think about this and do you guys think that e3 may be done at least as we know it or do you think they can revamp it up and really make a comeback? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And may God bless you all.